Hi everyone and welcome along. It is June so it's time to paint the next in our series of constellations. So we're going to do the Gemini star sign which just so happens to be my husband Ants. Although he's born on the 21st of June so we sometimes disagree as to whether he's one or the other. What do you think? Anyway. I ain't no crab. <laughs> Sorry. Every now and then he takes me by surprise by chipping in. Um, right, so grab your paints and let's get started. So as before, I went online and I found a template for the um, Gemini star sign and I've just drawn it quite heavily in pencil there and I'm now going to create a skyscape to go with it. So I've got Payne's grey here and I'm going to put in a bit of turquoise as well. And I'm using my large size 12 rounded point brush. I'm trying not to be too sort of precise with it. And then we're just going to let that dry. It's amazing how much lighter it dries, but it still looks really lovely and intense. And it's good because we can still see the pencil lines underneath. So what I'm going to do now with my rigger brush is I'm going to use my lovely metallic watercolours, the Fine Tech watercolours. And today, because I used, uh, I'm keen to do something just a tiny bit different with each of these uh, constellation tutorials. So whilst you, I used a bit of turquoise in the sky, I'm going to use a coppery metallic colour rather than the gold I used last time and you can see how brilliant the rigger is I don't think any other brush really can do the same job here so making sure that I'm leaving gaps in between I quite like the star just coming out just a little bit further than the blue sky there oh please excuse the fact a little bit of building work going on so um that is a that is a, a, a saw going on outside i've managed to time my filming most of the time to avoid it so yeah you can chuckle along i'm sorry it's usually very relaxing this uh, atmosphere i create um just for that moment not quite so we've got those i'm gonna let those dry and then we'll put in the stars okay and now i'm just going to use a regular pointed round brush and and uh, some constellation guides will give you also an indication of the size of the different stars, which I quite like because it means then you just get a little bit more interest with the painting itself. So some dots and larger than others. Here we go again. To finish off, I've just drawn two parallel lines at the bottom to give me a guide to write the word Gemini. And then I'm just gonna use my pointed round four tenths brush to create some lettering. So I gave them that a rub out with pencil, uh, rub out of the pencil, and here we have a lovely metallic watercolour piece, perfect little gift for the Gemini in your life, and, and I have one, so uh, Ant, this is coming your way. Thanks so much for watching.
Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a massive thank you to our patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.